Yeah, that vote did not go the way those officers wanted to, even after they addressed council members virtually over Zoom. Now, they say at least three veteran officers have left the department in the last couple of weeks because of low pay. I'm Rhonda Daines, and I am a 13-year veteran. Veteran Jackson police officers are still fighting for a pay raise that younger officers got starting October 1st. We want you all to actually see it from our eyes. They took their message directly to city council, addressing council members virtually Tuesday morning. Uh, we're seeking $18 an hour for officers, 21 for corporals, and 25 for sergeants. Councilman Kenneth Stokes proposed a pay raise for longtime officers that would take effect January 2021. If you take the budget over the last 20 years for the police department, it's been cut and it's been going down, down, down. Other council members supported Stokes' pay proposal, but were skeptical how much it will cost taxpayers. I believe that the council is committed to doing what's right. There's no way for up, for me to know whether it's going to cost a million dollars or five million dollars or however much it's going to cost. Stokes said the council should use money left over from the previous year's fund balance. If you look at the fund balance over the years, the amount of money that's going to be in here would be enough to pay, to, to, uh, pay these officers what they're trying to get. Now, after that debate, Stokes' proposal failed because no other council members supported it. Council President Banks says he would like to use money from the CARES Act to make sure all Jackson police officers get a pay raise. Live at JPD headquarters, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.